from Gottlieb Pinball. Oh boy, look at this beautiful Gottlieb Mars God of War. I forgot what it was. I know I told you to put the tea molding on it, but I'm trying to do the video over here. Well, yes, what would you like me to do? Find something else to do! Okay. All right, let's go back here. Anyway, you know they made 52, a little over 5,200 of these machines back in 1981. I think it was March of 81. A beautiful piece of equipment. And this was actually a first to use what they call the Stargate ramp. That's this ramp that flops up. They used it for many, many years to come. Robo Wars had it, um, oh gosh, a bunch of godly games, Raven, and a very popular ramp. Which you'll see how neat it is when it works. Walter, what's going on here? Find something else to do. See ya. Okay. All right, now, let's get back to this. Are we gonna be distracted like this all night long? Anyway. Uh, we have an order on this. Guy's been waiting a while to get this, and boy, is, is it worth the wait. Look at the artwork on this. Stephen went all Or something else, so I'm doing this now. <laughs> the next video, we gotta get the machine done. Hard something else to do. I got, is this a woodpecker here? If Wallace was here, he'd be calling him a woodpecker. Wallace, but Wallace look, his toolbox is clay left. Wallace and Stephen left. Look at the artwork on that. Alley cats. Stephen finished uh, that side. It's beautiful. Boy, that's good. Anyway, Mars God of War. Man has been waiting, waiting, and waiting. It is going to be so worth his wait. Look at the three-dimensional back glass. Now, this got the reputation of being what they call the nightmare back glass, and that is because to get this 3D effect, there's a piece of clear glass on the front with artwork on it, and behind that, there's a mirrored back glass. However, it was sitting in there, held in by two little clips, and the only way to get to the circuit boards was to take the second piece of glass out and set it down separately. And guess what? Dozens of them were broken. Dozens of them. So what happened is lots of them were reproduced and made, and over the years, uh, more got broken until somebody came up with the idea of putting a bracket in to hold it in so it never comes out of the machine. Two brackets hold the glass in. Now, here's the, here's the thing. The glass is no longer made, no longer available, no way can you buy it. But look, you know what this is? It's plexiglass. Beautifully reproduced. Do you see the, uh, the, the, uh, our god in the back, our god of war? That's plexiglass. And the miracle man that made it is none other than, he only has a limited number. He made only a few to help his game out and a few other people. I bought two of them. What a great deal to buy something as nice as this. Anyway, that's in there permanently. Our customer gets a brand new piece. Looks beautiful. Look, he's even got the tinning, the green tinning. Guess what else that man does? I'm going to show you. By the way, to open these games, you put your one hand here and you have the other hand here. You lift the handle up and it swings open the inside. This doesn't have any strain relief, so you have to help your cables like that. Okay? This is what this man does. He fixes these boards. So you can send him your Gottlieb board and have it repaired and sent back. So this is one he did for us. Actually, it's number 12. We've had this on the shelf for a while. 
And look, we've updated it with a new easy to change battery that our customer can purchase at the local drugstore. That battery, in fact, is the same one that's in your key bob to unlock your doors. Very common battery. Anyway, we also put new connectors here. This one here we got from Dosen Electronics. Somebody had already replaced that one before we started working on it. And of course we have the extra jumper in here. That's the only ground wire jumper you have to put on the game. You don't have to put 50,000 grounds like everybody else does. Do not have to do that. That's all you have to do. That's all the factory said to do and that's all you have to do. Then of course you have to tighten the screws here, make sure they're all tight, and then make sure all these edges are burnished. The sound boards, you now have to change the capacitors. You can't get around that anymore. You gotta change the capacitors. This is the animator board. This whole job in life is to run the uh, infinity lights. You can see we've put in three LED uh, bulbs that run that. Really terrific job. We've rebuilt the power supply with new parts, new capacitors, diodes, and resistor. And we've put the jumpers. You have to jumper the transistor so it runs nice and uh, solid. There's no fluctuations in the power. Look at that. All done. Don't forget. See, I got my hand there. You got to do that so the wires don't pinch and pull out. Locks in. Close it like that. Isn't that a beautiful game? Frank, what do you think? Awesome. I think this came out just beautiful. We put in four super bright LEDs in the pop bumpers, red ones. So these pop bumpers are super bright. We have three LEDs throughout the rest of the play field here. We also have them under the field. Blue here, red, pink, whatever. Boy, it's beautiful. Oh, and I almost forgot, you have to burnish the, um, the uh, edges the, uh, of all your displays to make sure they make good, solid connections. Well, I think we're ready for some gameplay. Frank, how about if we do some gameplay? Sure. Okay. All right, we'll put credits on the game. That's our credit button. We still left the coin stuff in there so it can be hooked up for Is coin. Is that the credit button? Or... <sighs> you can't keep reusing the same gag. I never reuse gags. Oh, shit. And this loads the game. See, uh, see? Yeah, I switch, switch finger. No, 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 this finger. Same voice on the black hole. Ooh, yes. Yes, they use the same soundboard, same sound chip. And you can actually, inc and Cubert, but you can actually adjust that. You can turn that voice up and down and make him high pitched and low pitched. There's a little pot on the board. So if you want his voice to be deeper, you can turn it down or you can turn it up and make it louder like that. Pretty neat, huh? Very easy to adjust. Now, your first ball throw goes through a lane change. It moves the Mars lights and also the pop bumper lights. Like that. Pretty sharp, huh? Also, either bank of drop targets will light a war base. War base left. The war bases are now activated. Right there, baby. And when we go in, it gives you this little war show here. Left. Yeah, it's flashing this here. And there she is. And now this is flashing, so you can get instant two-ball, multi-ball, or you can try to capture another ball. Look, our tube from Xenon. Yeah, Xenon, that same tube, almost, but it's a lot longer. But it's lit by LEDs behind. Look at that. LEDs have been with us all these years, but we never really used them. They were a lot dimmer, too. But it's kind of interesting. These are the original LEDs. They've never been changed. So they really do last a long time. There is one of those little uh, animator boards in the bottom that run the LEDs. So they're not running off the computer, they have their own board. Gottlieb loves using those animator boards. Did you know those little boards, by changing the resistor value, you can change the speed of the flashing. So it's pretty sharp. So you can use them in different occasions. Or different, different parts of the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to tell you, all new flippers. Not only are the boots on the top new, but the plungers and links and the end of stroke switches and of course the coil sleeve, all brand new. Thank goodness for Steve Young. Along with all of these clear posts. 
Isn't that beautiful? And look, if you'll notice, almost all of our plastics are, are really good. But you can see our clear Lexan washers. Now, how long are these gonna last? Let me tell you. Right here, look. A Czech hockey that we're overhauling for a customer. Yes, we do overhauls. He bought this on Craigslist. He got a great deal on it. He got it for $500. It was dead as a doornail. Costing him 700 bucks for us to go through the whole machine. The only thing he didn't want us to put money into was the sticker on the, on the cap. But we cleaned up the ice. We put these, these new diverters here. here. We painted all the men and clear coated them. Had, he was missing a puck too. We also put the, oh, that's part of that record from over there, huh? But listen, what I actually started to show you is look right here. See the clear washer? There it is. That's right. The same washers we're using on pinballs now. How come none of the pinball manufacturers have made them yet? <coughs> I don't know. I guess we'll never know, will we? Not yet. Somebody's going to make them soon, I'm sure. But right now, we buy them for a quarter each. No discounts. 25 cents a piece right now. Anyway, let's get back to this game before I lose track again. Our Stargate is nice. Isn't it nice how that, that moves up the target there? You want to go so far up. You want to go up your Stargate here. Also used, of course, on other games. Get it loaded in there. And we got it. And attack, attack. And now instant two ball ball. The nice thing is, is the top hole does eject the ball up to your shooter lanes. So you have some great shots here, guys. What a terrific game this is. Now, I do want to show you an interesting feature though. See, so you go underneath the Stargate when that's not there. Let me show you something. You get all the targets down. Okay, we activate, we go on our war base. We got our next ball. It's coming. Now, it wants us to shoot the Stargate, the Stargate ramp. But watch, watch what happens if the ball goes down. But watch what happens. You get points for that. But it does this. Your flippers are dead. Nope. Can't play it, guys. It'll do this. Sorry. You gotta re-lock it in. The good news is the war base is active again. So you can get that baby up there. Now look. You can activate both. So we can get that locked. And we'll get our next one. And we're going to lock this one up. The fresh rubber is so lively, it's just hard to keep track of it. And we'll have our three ball multi ball. That's how we're going to have to end this video thing. Because I know you're in an anxious rush. Let's and there it goes. Attack, attack, attack. <laughs> what a terrific game. I've only got two more of these left in the warehouse, guys. Two left. I'm sure somebody watching this video will want to order one. But you may find one local, too. When you're done, you can make this look as beautiful as this, guys. And we're down. Is that the third one? I got a new high. Frank's doing this. Clean. 
Clean. Clean. And what are you doing over here? Have you been waiting that whole time? You could have been pounding. Wait for you to finish so I can do something. Well, lucky to me, he only now gets five bucks an hour. Now I can do something without interrupting the video. Wow! He's talking back to me like that. Guess what? It's down to just us three and it's only ten of ten. But Kurt is still out on service. See, Kurt's our service guy. We service what we sell. We've been doing it for many years. We have over 25,000 machines out there in the home market. So Kurt does probably does one or two service calls every day. Uh, most of our service, in fact, now is for other people's stuff. We do fix other games if we have time. We go out and do other service calls. Because a lot of times, we're able to get those people to eventually trade their game in and get something else. Forever trade in. Look, big difference since the last video, huh? Now he's got all of our um, red rubbers from uh, 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 Cliffy Protectors. God, I'm never going to. I bought hundreds and hundreds of these in all different colors. Uh, look, new pads behind the targets here. Of course, we're doing the LEDs. You can see we have a three LED here. We have a four one here. So the, the uh, slingshots will be super bright. And our new flat, flat as a pancake flash lamps here. These are the epilepsy ones. They're going to flash really bright. Good. Hey, listen, don't forget the Pinball Expo. Yes, it's coming. And... I, I got my hand on it. It's not going anywhere, Frank. That's my poor you had your hand on it. Yeah. Hey, I'm do we're doing a special tribute to Nola Nolan Bushnell. So you got to come. They asked me to do it, so we're doing that during the banquet. So it's a really neat thing we've planned. And, I'm, of course, I'm going to do a seminar. They invited us to come out and do that. So And next Saturday night is the premiere of the King of Arcades at the... Uh, which uh, which uh, casino? It's Sands Casino Bethlehem. in Bethlehem, PA. What's the date? Hmm. September 13th. September 13th. Be up forever. 2014. Just 2014. Yeah, this video is going to be up forever. You'll be able to get it. You'll be able to uh, get it off of GOG. G O G. You can actually buy it on GOG now and upload it to your or download it to your website. Yeah, this is kind of precarious, isn't it? Especially with you touching it. Anyway, this game better be done. That boy better be in the market. Look at this, the factory Mylar. This customer is going to be very happy with this baby. See, you have to take all the parts off of this. See, see, to get all the crud out. Oh, God. It was never disassembled. Now, we'll have to change this. See how ugly and, and yellow these are. So these will get new boots. Oh, we spend thousands of dollars on new parts every year. Thousands and thousands. Anyway, Frank, we're done here. We're done with that. And you better not ever play that record again. Ever. I probably won't. Somebody said they bought 50 of them. We'll see. Thank you for watching. Good night. Are you still here?